professional bull riders return to Jacksonville on February 23rd and 24th. And last year, we actually interviewed Connor Halverson over Zoom, and now we've invited him to the studio. So it's so nice to have you on the show again. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Okay, this is a really exciting sport. A little bit dangerous, or maybe a lot bit dangerous. <laughs> um, but how did you get into professional bull riding? Yeah, I just grew up in a really small town, you know, kind of grew up around it. And, uh, you know, I always wanted to do it since I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, when I was real young, I yeah. just uh, started doing it and haven't looked back since. Did you start on the sheep? You know how they do the thing yep. where they hold on? Did you do that? Yep. Oh, my gosh, yep. that's so cool. Were you good at that, too? Oh, uh, not really. I, I was... <laughs> At that age, I, I was still a little scared of them. So. Oh, okay. Uh, I think it's so cute when they do that, though. They're so, uh, like, the little kids on there. Well, this is really exciting, though. He is a top 30 bull rider in the world. Amazing. Congratulations. That is so cool. So how has your season been so far, and what are your goals going forward? Yeah, the season's been going really good uh, so far. And, yeah. uh, you know, it's been been a little rough the last couple weeks. But, uh, you know, it, it comes with the sport. Right. There's a lot of ups and a lot of downs. Right. So, uh you know, we're we're looking forward to being here in Jacksonville and continuing on with the season. Yeah, and we're seeing some of the footage right now. Man, those bull, those bulls, they can be a little scary, but they're athletes too. So tell us yeah. about them. Yeah, they're athletes just like us. You yeah. know, they they get fed and groomed, and uh, they get really good uh, care, taking care of them. Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, without them, we don't have a job. So right, right. Um, they're they're uh, they're treated really well. That's good. Um, and do you use the same one every time? No. How does nope. that work? They, uh, the guys that own the bulls will bring them, and okay. they, they'll be, you know, 100 bulls here this weekend. Are you serious? Through, through uh, um, and we just get bulls drawn for us. Wow. Okay, yeah. so what can folks expect if, if they come out this weekend? Well, they can expect, you know, the best bull riders and the best bulls going head-to-head -head with each other. There's going to be a lot of... Uh, Loud music, mm -hmm. you know, pyro, Ooh. Uh, you know, the whole nine yards, and it's it's going to be a, a concert and a bull riding and a uh, party all in one. Yeah, is is the eight second thing still like what the goal is? Yep. Eight second ride. Yep. Okay. Eight seconds. Well, good luck. Are you performing on both days or yep. just one? Yep. Okay. Both days. Okay, and then what is the ultimate goal of this weekend for you? Uh, to win the event. Just in general. Yep. Just so win now, the event. do they add up both days, or can you win? Yep. Or like, how yep. does that work? They'll add up your uh, total score on three bulls, okay. and whoever has the highest aggregate score wins. That's so cool. Okay, and then for someone who may be on the fence or maybe have never been to a bull riding competition like this, why should they come out? Uh, it's going to be like nothing they've ever seen before. It's not like your traditional rodeo. It's just bull riding. Okay. And uh, they're going to they're going to pack a whole lot of energy into this building, and it's going to be a it's going to be a show like they've never seen before. Awesome. Okay. Well, where can folks get more information? They can go to pbr.com. Easy enough. Not the beer. Professional bull riding. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Hunter, and good luck, and be safe. Thank you. All right, David.